Will you just love an aft facing balcony cabin or will you regret it? In this video, I'm gonna share with you my honest pros and cons. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, aft facing balcony cabins are some of the most sought after types of cabins, especially for seasoned cruisers and for good reason. I mean, let's face it, look at that amazing view. However, aft facing balcony cabins are not for everyone. So if you are wondering if they are for you, you are going to appreciate this video. On a recent cruise, we got to have an aft facing balcony cabin, try it out for ourselves. And I am gonna share with you the things that you need to know before you decide if you want to book this type of cabin. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, we have to talk about that incredible view. So you will have that amazing wake view while you are sailing, while you're cruising, but you'll also have that amazing wake view at sail away. This is just something really nice. And we found that the aft view, there's just no better way to experience sail away than seeing that. And this includes even at the different ports of call. And by the way, when I say that wake view, you know that I'm also talking about that amazing sound that you hear. Ah, oh, can you just hear it now? Okay, but now let's go on to the really practical things that you need to know about an aft facing balcony cabin. They are more spacious. So really you could have double or even triple the space that you'd have in a regular balcony cabin. If you value your space outside of your cabin, you will definitely appreciate this. Now on our recent cruise where we had an aft balcony cabin, oh my goodness, we were able to have two lounge chairs and three regular chairs, a small side table, and a sort of, I guess, regular table. This really made our outdoor time on our cruise ship so pleasant. Number three, a covering or partial covering for your aft veranda cabin. Now I have to say, I always wondered if I'd like to have a covering because I love the sun. However, after a cruise that we did not too long ago on another cruise ship where I had a really nice balcony, uh, it was really good, but it was full sun. And truthfully, there were times during the day that we just couldn't go on the balcony because it was so, so hot with the sun. So I really did appreciate having that aft balcony cabin where we probably had about three quarters shade. It really never got too hot. And if I did wanna sit closer to the sun, I could just push my chair closer to the edge of the balcony railing. Number four, it is an amazing place to have your breakfast, to have appetizers, cocktails during the day, to have that wake view and to be able to order your room service or maybe to be able to pick up some appetizers at the buffet and bring them back to your cabin. I found this experience to be, well, priceless. And while this is an experience that you can definitely do if you have a midship balcony cabin or a forward, or aft balcony cabin, but that's not facing the wake view. There really just is something special, it seems, about having that view in particular. Number five, it is overall a quieter location. Now, I will give you a tip a little bit later on in this video when you are choosing a cabin, if you are able to choose your cabin, maybe where the best locations are for the sound, but it is overall a quieter location because even in terms of foot traffic going to your cabin, there are less people that are walking all the way till the end of the ship than there would be at a midship cabin or one that is closer to the elevators or stairway. Privacy. Now, you know when you're in a regular balcony cabin that oftentimes you can see all of the people next to you on the right, on the left. You can also see if you're docked in port, you can see the ship right in front of you and you can almost just wave to the people right across from you. However, when you do have that aft balcony cabin, you really do have more privacy than you usually would have on any other type of balcony. Now for the cons, because of course, aft balcony cabins are not all sunshine and roses. And I will share with you a couple of things that I noticed about my own cabin, even though I loved it, there are maybe some tips that could help you out as well. So vibration and noises. So yes, you definitely in the aft of the ship will hear a little bit of those vibrations. Overall, personally, we found it pretty quiet most of the time. However, when we were sailing into Bermuda, definitely at around 5.30 a.m., I could feel a shudder 
um, when we were in bed. So I knew that ship was moving and I did go out and I could see that the ship had veered, I guess, toward the island a good hour and a half before and we could feel the ship movement at that point. Location. So something else to watch for is when you're actually picking your cabin is to take a look at the location. Now in our case, when we were sailing on the Celebrity Summit, we booked a balcony guarantee cabin and we were given this aft facing balcony cabin. So no complaints here. But if you could choose your cabin, I would say probably don't choose the cabin that we were in, even though we loved it. One deck under would have been better. So our cabin was on deck nine, right on top of us at deck 10 was the sunset bar area. And basically in that area, you do have tables and chairs where people are eating breakfast or snacks or just sitting out during the day or the evening. And you definitely could hear some of the movements of the chairs and as well, when there were musicians playing you could hear that. Now, personally, that didn't bother me. Those are just the sounds of cruising to me. But I could see that if you are somebody that is bothered by the sounds, you probably wouldn't appreciate this. So just going down to like deck eight would be better for you. Now, another con are potential obstructions. And by the way, this sometimes does make the cabin a little bit less expensive. So even though you get that extra room on that large balcony, the people that we had next to us um, on the right side, they had mentioned to me that because in their particular cabin, they had um, a solid balcony wall rather than having a railing that was glass, that they had to stand up to be able to see the wake. So they said their cabin was probably a little bit less expensive because it did have this obstruction. Other people say sometimes there's a hole and that's a bit of an obstruction. So it is something to watch for and just to know what you like best. Now, another potential con, and this of course is for some people, is the fact that it is a long walk to your cabin. So from the elevators or even from the stairway, especially if you're on one of those those larger cruise ships, you might find at the end of the day at nighttime or different points during the day that it is always a bit of a long walk to your cabin. So if you need something more accessible to the elevators, then it is better to choose like a midship or even a mid aft or a mid forward cabin. The soot or the salt or the dirt. Now I have to say this is not something that we experienced. However, I have heard from many cruisers on different cruise ships that soot sometimes can be a problem. I have to say, I've heard this less recently, so please let me know if you've ever experienced this one way or the other. If you've had a soot problem or if you have not had a soot problem, please let me know down in the comments. I know that this will be specifically helpful for people who are watching this video, but personally, we were on the Celebrity Summit and we had absolutely no issues with the soot. What I did do though, because of the salt, I actually had a little bit of a stain on one of my dresses um, because of the salt is after that, what I did is I just took one of the washcloths from the bathroom, I wet it with some water and I would actually wipe down um, my chairs. And I think that the salt could happen even if you're on a regular veranda as well, but we had absolutely no problems with soot. Now, if you are interested in taking a look at our cabin on the Celebrity Summit, I'm gonna leave a video right after this one all about how we sort of organized our cabin and it does have a cabin tour in it as well. Now, I'd love to hear from you if you've ever booked an aft facing uh, cabin, if you'd consider it, what has your experience been? Please let me know down in the comments below. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would love to have you here within the LifeWell Cruise community. Bye for now and happy cruising.